Hello and welcome to part three of our Land School VDI series. I'm Adam Taylor with ITS and in the last video we took a look at how to implement our script within Windows. In this video we're going to be taking a look a bit more in depth at the role of the task scheduler and exactly how we'd want to configure a uh, scheduled task for Land School for VDI. So the first thing that we need to do here is just to open up the task scheduler and very importantly we need to be running that as an admin. The reason why we want to run the task scheduler as an admin is so that we can run this script not only with admin rights but also to apply it to every user in the domain uh, rather than just the one we're currently logged into. So type in the task scheduler into the start menu and then right click on it to run as admin. If you have UAC enabled it will ask you to log in with your admin details. So we'll just do that for each machine. Now what we've done here is just create a new directory called land school just to keep this scheduled task away from the others. If you'd like to give this scheduled task a name that just reflects what it's going to be used for, I've used a name switch set channel. And we just want to make sure that everything here is configured so we've got the admin rights running against all users at the highest possible privileges and with no on-screen prompts. We want to make that a login script and again we'll select any user which is the default and here we're going to point this towards our login script our command line prompt there so it's the .cmd file um, under conditions really there isn't much we want to change here just need to make sure that the task always runs and the same goes for settings so really any option here that we can use to just ensure that the task does run as soon as the user logs in and that nothing's stopping it or forcing it to shut down prematurely. Once you've configured the task, it'll prompt you for your admin password one more time, so pop that in. And now we have our new task sitting there ready to go on the next login. We're just gonna do that two more times over. So again, we just wanna create a new task within the land school subfolder of the task scheduler run at the highest privileges as an admin against any user. Uh, we we'll use the Windows 10 preset and make sure it's hidden. Again, that's what would be applied to every user at every login. And we just need to point that towards our, uh, our command line script, which is stored on the C drive. Once again, the admin password, and now that one's done. And then we'll do it one more time. We'll pop that into the land school subfolder of the task scheduler, give it a memorable name, make sure it's running as an admin against all users with the highest privilege as a hidden task for Windows 10. So again, login task for any user. and just need to find our command line script and make sure that's the thing that's launching, not the VBS. So here I've selected the VBS by accident. Just make sure we change that to the command line, the .cmd file. That's the one that needs to be run here. If you do set the VBS, it won't carry the admin rights through, which is why we use the cmd file on top of it. And then for the last time, we just pop in our admin password and then that's it, that's good to go. So now we can close down everything and we need to restart these machines. And now what should happen is no matter who we log into, whether it's an admin account or a user account, staff or student, it's always gonna run and it's always going to launch our VDI script pretty much as the very first action it takes the second you've entered your password in at the login screen in Windows. So now the machines are rebooting and we should see them slowly drop out of the Land School teacher interface in the top left corner. Let's do a quick refresh. That's taking the thumbnails out. Now as we log in as each user in turn, 
we should see the thumbnail start coming back into the teacher interface with their standard details. There we go, they've started coming in. Uh, so far they're unauthenticated, but in a second they should all catch up. There we go, we've got those. And if we just refresh a second time, there. So now the iGel terminal names have been put in place of the machine name. That script is fully completed and all the PCs are exactly where they need to be in the teacher console.